So, I just found out some very disheartening news. Um, and, I, and I knew this 15 years ago, and I approached my family on it 15 years ago, and they go, no, 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 it's because my mom was still alive. No, 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 it's, it's not, you're, you're, you're crazy, that's, that, that's not true. So, oh, well, I'm hearing this, this stuff, and, and then I'm, I'm, I'm hearing it again today, uh, you know, last couple of weeks, and it's very troubling because then stuff happened um, that kind of confirmed it. Um, so I'm, I'm, uh, I'm under the impression that I was not born in, in southern Italy. I was actually born in, in Queens, uh, in New York. And what happened was that uh, somehow, I'm not sure that's the full story yet because I'm still trying to get all, all the information because my uh, um, family, uh, this family that raised me, um, they deny it. And they still keep on denying it. And now they keep on saying, oh, you're crazy. You're on drugs. You're, how can you think about stuff like this? As they're like, you know, getting very defensive about it. So, um, the story is that, that I really wasn't raised. I wasn't born in, in southern Italy. I was actually born in Queens. Um, and my mother and father died. Or some, something happened to them. So, my, this woman who claimed to be my mother for uh, most of my life, um, she decided to take me. Um, and raised me, but then what they did was that they falsified documents to say that I was born in southern Italy. They actually, uh, this is the picture, that the passport picture of me. Um, let's see, uh, I can switch it around. Uh, no, okay, I can't. Uh, so this is the passport picture of me. Supposedly this is me uh, when I was five years old, but this isn't me. And I don't remember anything from Italy before the age of six. There's no pictures of me as before the age of six. Um, except for a few pictures in Italy that kind of like that kid don't really look like me. I don't remember them. But they, they always told me, oh yeah, this is you. Hey, yeah, yeah. we brought you over at the age of five and, uh, and then you went to school. And, and I, I, out of all my family, I, I, don't, I don't have an accent. Uh, they don't have accents. I don't have an accent. Um, Italian um, um, it seems that instead of me learning it in Italy and then coming here and learning English, I was actually, le- I actually I knew English, and then they kind of forced me into learning Italian to make it seem like I was born in southern Italy. Why did they do that? I don't know. Uh, but I, it seems, it's not, now it seems that something else is coming up, that there was some kind of, some kind of trust fund, right, that, um, that was supposed to take care of me, which uh, my wonderful... Um, uh, family, that, I'm not say adopted, the family of wolves that raised me, right, um, 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 ended up using themselves. Like my brother right now lives in Rome in a beautiful apartment. My sister lives in a $400,000 house in an ocean and works for Gucci in Manhattan. Uh, she's got a BMW and she's had all these wonderful cars throughout the years. And me, I've never seen any kind of dime of anything. I, I had to pay my own way through college. I, I remember when I was a kid, I asked my mom for a pair of sneakers. And she said, oh, you know, I was 11 years old. Oh, you know she should get a job because I, I can't afford $50 sneakers. So um, this all came up again. And I approached my sister on it yesterday again. Rose, please, uh, you, 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 know, you, you, you need to tell me, really, it, uh, are we really, a ba- you know, or, or was I somehow... Adopted or brought? No, no, that's not your, your your mother is her. Oh my, she's your mother. She is your mother. She raised you. She loves you. And she gets very defensive about it. And then and then push comes to shove, threw me out of her house. Now I'm, I'm staying at a at a uh, at a at a hotel for weekly rates. So the thing of it is, my brother's denying it. Oh, there's the man that, that says this is my brother, who lives in Rome, who has a beautiful apartment, nice job, cushy job. He's got a son that's going through college right now, uh, spending a lot of money, you know, on him and them. And, and, and my family, I've grown up, I remember them uh, bringing bags and bags of stuff back to Italy every year when they go, when they used to go. Bags of, like, like clothes and stuff, candies, and they would just give it out to everybody around me. Now I'm starting to think, well, maybe they did that because they needed them to shut the fuck up about me not being really born in Italy, but we actually being born here. So I'm trying to find something. I, I got in touch with some lawyer, and he kind of tracked some of it down, so now I'm going to try to figure it out. But what I'm concerned is that these people, I had a trust fund from 
I guess from somebody, my dad, somebody had, so, 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 and not that I don't give a shit about money, I don't give a flying fuck, but these people took advantage of me and the family that I, that died having me, or, or were no longer around, and then they took advantage of me, took the money they were supposed to get me, and lived this, like, semi, semi-poor, but also in the brink of, oh, you've got nice things. My brothers always had top-notch cars. My sisters, like, a Volvo, a uh, uh, BMW, uh, what's that, a Lexus, a few years. Oh, I can't afford anything more. I said, yeah, but it's a little, pretty expensive. Oh, I bought this house for 100 and blah, 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 10, 15 years ago. Yeah, but that was 15 years ago. Where did you get the down payment for that again? So all these things are starting to come up. And of course, now my family is completely uh, against me. And now, and, and kind of funny, the last couple of weeks, I was staying with my sister, and I started getting like itching and burning on my hands. Uh, the water started tasting very chlorinated. Um, my feet were like burning from the shower. Um, all these things, my clothes, I put on a shirt and it was almost like, because she does the laundry there, right? Uh, um, it was almost like, he's like scratching it. Bad smell was coming out of the laundry. The food all tasted with the, the, the iced tea that I made in the refrigerator, and it tastes kind of chlorine-ish. So this has been gradually going on for the last two weeks that I was staying with my sister. Now, I'm not saying she was trying to kill me, but maybe she was trying to drive me a little manic and then call the Mammoth people, which I think uh, somehow, I think they're, they are involved as well, 